Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna show you some Hackerman stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna show you how to safely scoop credentials out of GitHub Actions and walk you through why I needed to do this, but also show you some cool um, public key, private key cryptography and some other neat features of GitHub at the same time. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so to set the stage, uh, I needed to do this for work. Uh, we had this repository action release, which had some credentials in it that we didn't know where the keys were. We didn't know what this Docker username, and I believe there's a Docker password in here somewhere as well. Uh, we had no idea what this actually was, whose account it was a associated with, and where we would even start to think about rotating the credentials for it. So uh, a coworker of mine was like, hey, Anthony, you know a lot about GitHub Actions. How can we get these secrets out? Now, uh, if you're familiar with GitHub Actions, it doesn't actually let you uh, get these secrets out uh, in the UI. So for instance, if we go to this repository, which I believe is failing at the moment, um, there are actions secrets in here somewhere. Uh, and GitHub will let you, oh, oh yeah, here we go. GitHub will let you see what the, the names of them are, but of course it, it doesn't let you just grab the values out of there. And so if this is the only place where those values exist, you're kind of screwed, uh, except for this technique that I'm going to show you today, which is a way to retrieve credentials safely. Uh, and you know, for public repositories, it's really important to be safe here because you don't want any random passerby to see what those credentials are. Uh, but we want to be able to retrieve them ourselves. So I came up with a procedure to use uh, a sage keys in order to encrypt the value, spit out a value that you can grab out of the output, and then decrypt that value later safely on your own machine. Um, I couldn't figure out how to get this working with the newer uh, elliptic curve keys, so I'm using SSH RSA keys for this, which are a little bit old. Uh, and the first part of this is the encryption script. Uh, the TLDR of this, well actually, let me show you a cool feature first. So any public key that you have on GitHub, is available from github.com slash your username slash keys. So if we look at Acetilly Sentry, for instance, I have three different uh, elliptic curve keys set up for that, whereas I have one RSA key for my, my, my personal account. I should probably update to elliptic curve at some point, but oh, there's just so many things to do. Uh, but anyway, I'm using uh, RSA keys for this, and we're going to copy this little uh, encryption script here. And what it's doing here is it's grabbing the public key from GitHub and then using that public key to uh, generate, I'm not gonna pretend I understand what this does. <laughs> I copied a couple of commands from Stack Overflow and, and got it to work. Um, and then it uses this uh, open a cell tool to use this intermediate key, this, this public key, uh, to encrypt the arguments of the program and then base64 is it and prints it out. So the usage of this is uh, basically, so I'm gonna do this, ink.sh, the username, the key number, and then whatever text you want to encrypt here. Uh, and it'll give you this base64 output, uh, which can get printed in your GitHub Actions job or whatever. And then you can safely grab this base64 output and then decrypt it later. Now the decrypt is the second half of this script down here. Uh, I actually couldn't figure out how to make it work with standard in, so for this case, we will write out our file as t.txt here. And we need to copy our decryption script here. The decryption script basically takes the other side of the equation, uses your private key to decrypt the value from uh, that was uh, gotten from the public key, sh, uh, base64 decode the input, and then use the private key to uh, decode the value. So if we chmod sx this guy, and we do dec.shtt.txt, of course we gotta get my ssh the password. Uh, paste that in here. And you'll see that it was able to decrypt the original arguments that we sent to the encryption script up here. So basically I used that uh, <laughs> to um, plug into this pull request here 
and then figured out what the Docker username was. Then we could figure out the account and figure out who owned it and then rotate the password. Uh, but anyway, I thought this was a pretty cool technique and wanted to show it off. Uh, if there are other things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.